Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, I want to show you how to remove special characters from text strings, and we're going to do this using Power Query. If you have Excel 2010 or 2013, you're going to need to install Power Query as an add-in, and I've left a link in the description of this video that will take you to the Microsoft website where you can download and then install that add-in. If you've got Excel 2016 or Excel 365, it's pre-installed. Okay, so assuming you have Power Query installed, if you click into your data somewhere, just one cell, go up to data on your ribbon, click on from table range. You get this dialog box, just confirming the range of cells that you're working on. You just have to be mindful of this little tick box. My table has headers, tick it if you already have a heading. Click on OK. This will launch Power Query for you. And that will show the data that you had in your spreadsheet. What I'm going to do is create an additional column where I'm going to remove the special characters. So we get Add Column, Custom Column. And I'm going to call this column Data Without special characters. I'm going to use a function called text.select, open bracket, and you can see the arguments for this function. You've got text as nullable text, that's the text you're going to select characters within. That's from my data with special characters column. So I just double click there comma and the next argument select characters so which characters do we want to select well we want to select a to z and naught to nine what i do for this is i start with an open brace bracket and the first character i want to specify is a capital a then i put two dots in two full stops the next character I use is a lowercase z. So it's important you have capital A there and lowercase z there. If they're both lowercase or both uppercase, then you'll only select characters with that particular case. Comma. Then I want the numbers. So I start with zero, dot, dot, and then I end with nine. Now notice everything's within the little speech marks there. I close my brace bracket, and then I close my round bracket for text.select. I click on OK. And you can see that in a new column, it's extracted all the characters that I want, but not the special characters. To get this back into Excel, I go to File, Close and Load, and I'll put it on another sheet. There you have it. You have the cleaned text that you require. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.